Now that we've talked about the walls, let's move on to the attic plane. Typically, the drywall ceiling of the top floor is the air barrier for the attic plane. This means the best time to address that is after the drywall is put up, but before the insulation is put in. The objective here is to hit the biggest holes first, moving down to the smallest gaps. Here we have a typical cross section of a soffit that goes over a kitchen or maybe even a bathroom. A couple of things going on here that we don't want to happen. Inside the soffit, it's considered conditioned air because it's inside the conditioned space of the house because the soffit is not air sealed. So we have conditioned air inside the soffit leaking up into the attic, past the attic insulation, going up into the attic and away. So we have that air leak that we want to stop. The other place that air can be coming in is right through the outside wall cavity here. We can have unconditioned air getting into the wall cavity from the outside coming up into the soffit into our conditioned space and again creating air currents that are going to go up past the attic insulation into the attic creating a big mess inside here. So a couple things we want to do. Number one is we want to seal the section along the outside edge of the wall from the bottom of the soffit up to the top plate. We're going to seal it all the way across here all the way back. That's very easy to do with either drywall ahead of time or I'm going to use a sheet of Luan here. When installing the Luan, caulk between the framing and the Luan to ensure a tight seal with minimal leaks. Once a bead of caulk is applied, fasten the Luan into place and install the soffit over the Luan. The other area is just above the soffit in the attic space. So I'm going to cover the whole top of the open soffit from the attic. Then using the foaming gun, seal it up on both sides. And that takes care of my air barrier in the attic. It seals up this whole open soffit area. It stops any conditioned air from leaking up into the attic. Once this is sealed up, then the insulation goes on top. We don't have to worry about any air leaks going through the insulation. So we put this mock-up of an attic plane up here to give you a little idea of what it looks like up in the attic. This area right here is where the big open soffit area is, right up into the attic. This is where we're going to put the rigid insulation down. It doesn't have to be this thick. It can be just a little half-inch thick insulation, anything that stops the air. And we're going to foam it up all the way around it, make sure it's air sealed nice and tight, and then put the regular insulation on top of it. 